and then he's finally got a break after. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear more about that, about how. Is there, there's there's just an earthquake, earthquake right now. Yeah, we're having an yeah, earthquake. Having oh, earthquake. we are having an earthquake. Yeah, a pretty goes. decent size. This is a good size yeah. earthquake right now. Wow. Oh, we're rocking sure. and rolling. This is probably big somewhere else. Because it doesn't feel close, but yeah, we're rolling. Wow. Wow, it's still going. Yep. You see that? Yeah. It's rolling. It's still going. This, this is how this is how people in California <laughs> deal with earthquakes if you didn't know. I think it's done. And it's done. It's on Corbin. I'm Alexis. Ashley. Brooke. <laughs> Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. It's so juicy. It is. Uh, and it's so juicy, it drips. We are reacting to a video of no Nawaz way. and Siddiqui's life. Oh, really? Huh? Like the one we saw with Paul. Oh, <laughs> freaky. Yay. Uh, yay. And the. Uh, one of uh, this was on the internet. I haven't seen it, obviously, but I Wait, saw that on the internet? it was. Uh, I saw it didn't have <laughs> subs, so somebody subbed it for us. It wasn't Hey Nas, but it was a different Thank stupid you. baby, um, because they <coughs> wanted us to react to other actors like we did Ranveer. Yeah. Um, interesting fact we learned in the Ranveer one: Nawazuddin and um, VJ Ross yeah. were roommates. We learned that. <laughs> the dad is. from Gully Boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, they were roommates. That's really interesting because we consider roommate. them to be comparable heavyweight actors oh, in yeah. terms of their depth and capacity. That's really cool. Crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant actor. Muzaffarnagar ke paas mein ek chote sa gaon hai, Burhana. I think that the people who are जो the world are in the world. They 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 are in the वहां प्ले देखने बाद मैंने डिसाइड किया कि आई थिंक ये चीज है जिसको मैं चाह रहा था करना लेकिन कर कुछ और रहा था तो फिर मैंने जो एक हमेशा ग्रुप होता है वो ज्वाइन किया और आई थिंक एक डेढ़ साल उसमें काम किया उसके बाद फिर नेशनल स्कूल ऑफ ड्रामा में मैंने एडमिशन ले लिया था आई थिंक मैंने कई सारे जॉब ट्राई किए थे और मैं चीफ केमिस्ट के अलावा भी काफी काफी जॉब किए थे तो पता नहीं आई डोंट नो मुझे एक ऐसा सी चीज का होता था शायद मैं बोर हो जाऊंगा इस जॉब से फिर दूसरा ट्राई करता था फिर तो ये था कि मैं क्या चाह रहा था मुझे भी एग्जैक्टली exactly पता नहीं था मैं क्या चाहता हूं फाइनली जब मैंने प्ले देखा तो मुझे लगा कि ये चीज है जो शायद मैं मुझे आ, मुझे जिसकी जुबान नहीं मिली थी वर्ड्स नहीं मिला था कि थिएटर क्या होता है शायद ये चीज है बहुत ही क्रिएटिव चीज है और मैं ये करना चाहता था लेकिन मुझे पता नहीं था तो आई डोंट नो कैसे हुआ या क्या, क्या कभी अनकॉन्शियस माइंड में बैठा होगा जो कभी मैंने रियलाइज नहीं की इस चीज को so finally, I मैंने मैं अब मैं यही करूँगा इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं करने वाला हूँ। मैं हाँ स्ट्रीट प्लेस होते थे दिल्ली में उस वक्त पे और मैं ये ग्रुप था उसमें थोड़े बहुत पैसे मिल जाते थे कि जैसे लाइट का बिजली की चोरी का कुछ एक स्किप सा बना लिया दिल्ली सरकार से मिला उसका उसके लिए स्किप कर दिया जाके गली गली पूछे पूछे जाके कर रहे थे तो कोई कोई प्रोडक्ट आया जैसे ऑयल है ऑयल कंपनी का कोई प्रोडक्ट आया अब उसको उसका एडवर्टाइजमेंट करना है तो पांच छह लोगों का ग्रुप बना दिया तो जगह जगह पे जाके वो परफॉर्म करते थे उस, उसके बारे में बताते थे जो आजाद को मंडी हो ये कनाड कनाड प्लेस बस अड्डा ये वो हर जगह जाके उसके शोज करते थे तो उससे थोड़ा बहुत पैसा मिल जाता था आई थिंक मैं और बिजनेस तो नहीं कह सकता तो काम थे वो तो बट ये था कि मैं जब उससे काम ज्यादा चल नहीं रहा था Wait, an actor didn't make enough money? When I was in the group, I was in the group. I was in the group. I was in the 
ऐसा सीन था कि मैं ये सोच रहा था मैं कोई बड़े बहुत बड़े सपने तो लेके गया नहीं था पर यह था मैं जब सर्वाइव करता रहा हूँ बहुत ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट था क्योंकि यहाँ पे दिल्ली में रहते हुए इतना डिफिकल्ट हो गया था सर्वाइव करना तो वहाँ पे एक ही था कि मैं सर्वाइवल होता रहा ठीक से और बाकी काम वाम जो मिलेगा वो तो करते रहेंगे छोटा मोटा काम एक सीन दो सीन जो होगा वो करते रहेंगे क्योंकि बड़ा सीन तो कोई देने वाला नहीं पहले मैंने टीवी ट्राई किया टीवी में इतना मुझे ज़्यादा कुछ मिला नहीं कि एक दो दो एपिसोड के काम मिले मिले और फिर नहीं भी मिले और फिर फिर फिल्मों में ट्राई किया एक एक सीन उसमें मिले तो बस यही था कि एक एक सीन मिल रहे थे और मेरा काम चल रहा था और ये सिलसिला कोई दस ग्यारह साल तक चलता रहा मैं होता था एक्चुअली और रिजेक्शन भी होता रिजेक्शन तो चलो ये था कि मैं यूज टू हो चुका था इतना सारा जब क्या होता है कि एक दो बार शुरू में मिलता रिजेक्शन तो आदमी को थोड़ा डिसअपॉइंटमेंट होता है आदमी बट जब बहुत सारे हो जाते हैं तो फिर उस पर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता इस चीज़ का मुझे कभी बिल्कुल कई बार आया एहसास इस चीज़ का फिर छोड़ के चले जाता हूँ बट प्रॉब्लम ये थी कि मैं यही जानता था इसके अलावा कुछ और जानते हैं जिसकी मैं अगर छोड़ के चला भी जाता तो क्या करता मैं या तो वापस वही प्लेस करने पड़ते जिनको मैंने कर लिया था सात आठ साल तक कर लिया था या तो वही करना पड़ता फिर या फिर अपने गांव में जाना पड़ता गांव में बहुत मुश्किल था कि आ गया सिपाही था हार के क्या सोच के आए तो इस तरह इन सवालों से बहुत डर लगता था उन्होंने ठीक है जो भी होगा बुरा भला जो भी होगा यही होगा तो इसलिए वापस नहीं आते भगवान के बहुत समाज बैठे का पता भगवान हमारे घरों से बैठा And I, I love. Obviously, I love that he fell in love with theater, but the fact, the fact that he was a street performer. Mm. Mm. Uh, so put on my theater teacher hat here. For those of you who don't know, uh, the history of theater. It had been suppressed during the Dark Ages to the point where it was just traveling bands of troops of actors and was almost put to the point of extinction during the Dark Ages. But then the Renaissance age of theater came, ironically, through the church when they started to do things called liturgical plays in the midst of their mm -hmm. messages and sermons. And then they had a great idea, which was, these are so effective in communicating stories that we want to tell, why don't we put them out on the front of the church so that the general public can see it, not just the people in the church. So those liturgical plays were then presented outside. And then people took them from the church step and started performing them in the streets, mm -hmm. and they were called morality plays. And from there came the age of Shakespeare and the, the, the renaissance of theater. So, I mean, he is a genuine, it shows in his work, the man is a thespian by the highest order, you know? Mm -hmm. He's just, and his, his commitment to the art form, his love of the art form, and his commitment to the industry. A very rare actor in many ways, but in terms of just how he came up yes. in India and in Hollywood. Yeah, you I don't have, you have to be related to somebody really in order to oh, yeah. to really make it a relationship or, or it's relationship based. You're an anomaly. Yeah, yeah. basically. I mean, we know it's it is nepotism. That's why you see people who have similar last names or come from fathers, grandfathers, mothers, whoever. And it's in here in Hollywood, and it's here in Hollywood as well. <laughs> so for somebody, he total outsider, came from a, a, a village, didn't know anybody in the industry at all, and sadly, because he was so dark. Mm -hmm. He was considered to not be very marketable mm -hmm. compared to fairer skinned actors, so he wasn't given, that's one of the reasons among many. But when you when you watch his work, you, get, you guys really need to see his work, and we've just we've just touched. Oh yeah, well, there's so it. many we haven't so seen. So many we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. And I, I do agree, even though I think acting-wise he's Gary Oldman, but uh, I think story-wise he's very Steve Carell, mm -hmm. um, in terms of Steve Carell was struggling for right, his personal years. His personal story. And yeah. Yeah. no one knew him. Yeah, obviously it's very different because obviously Steve Grogo has started in comedy. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I don't know if Noah Oz has done a comedy. You can mm -hmm. Did you know he was in Deb Dostrin that we saw? No, I know. We, you we, saw that, right? Yeah. He was one of the Deb Elvis, D. Yeah, yeah, Deb D. The, De the Elvis impersonator. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I know oh, this yeah. is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did, yeah. But yeah, he, he <laughs> struggled for about 15 years and then he's finally got a break <laughs> after... Yeah, I wanted to hear more about that, about how... There's this an earthquake right now. Yeah. We're having an yeah, earthquake. Having oh, we are having an earthquake. Yeah, a pretty decent size. This is a good size yeah. earthquake right now. Wow. Oh, we're rocking and rolling. 
This is probably big somewhere else because it doesn't feel close, but yeah, we're rolling. Wow. Wow, it's still going. Yep. You see that? Yeah. It's rolling. Still going. This still is going. how this is how people in California <laughs> deal with earthquakes, if you didn't know. Yeah, it started by getting dizzy. Yeah, yeah I got so low. dizzy all of a sudden. I was wow, like, it's still, still going. going. This is a long one. This is a big one far away. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> still rolling. It's still going. Still going. Wow. Jeez. I think that's the biggest one I've felt since I, I've been yeah. here. Oh, yeah. I think it's done. And it's done. And that's a California earthquake for you. <laughs> Hopefully everybody where it actually got oh, hit is okay. okay that yeah, was yeah, that was that was sizable and that was far away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, geez. Yeah. I'll go check my phone and see where that thing is. Yeah. <laughs>